Very, very reliable sources indicate Diego Costa probably won't be playing for Chelsea next season. Hint, the source is Diego Costa. Liverpool might have broken up one too many of Southampton's relationships. Real Madrid to stick with Kalo Navas for at least the next six months. Alexis Sanchez is not going to Manchester City. And the USA prepares for a World Cup qualifier against Trinidad and Tobago, who, it seems, might attempt to start the match in a literal bunker. Okay, maybe not a literal one, but you see what I'm driving at. It's Thursday, June 8th, 2017, which means happy birthday to Javier Mascherano, a man who gives it all for club and country, and that includes his bum. You are welcome for that image at this early hour. From Dirty Tackle, Howler Magazine, and the Total Soccer Show, this is The Goalmouth, your daily serving of bite-sized soccer news. Up first, Antonio Conte has reportedly made it clear to Diego Costa that the Spain international won't be needed at Chelsea next season, at least according to multiple sources, including Diego Costa. Speaking with reporters following Spain's 2-2 friendly draw with Colombia, Costa declared, quote, I'm a Chelsea player, but they do not want me there. Antonio Conte has told me by message that I do not follow at Chelsea, and that's it. Conte said he did not count on me for next season, end quote. So I'm guessing that means that either Chelsea are already in advanced discussions with a target striker to replace Costa, cough, Romelu Lukaku, cough, or Diego Costa made his manager so angry that Conte was happy to say good riddance. This news also makes it more likely than ever that Costa returns to his former club, Atletico Madrid, or, given that they have a transfer ban until the January 2018 window, he heads to the slightly greener pastures of China. Because, you know, money is green. Get it? Ah, jokes. Uh, for his part, Costa followed up on the rumors linking him with a move away, stating, quote, It would be nice to return to Atletico, but it is difficult to be four or five months without playing. Being five months without playing? I do not know. It's complicated. But people know that I love Atletico a lot and that I love living in Madrid, end quote. If you want to translate that to normal people speak, it's more like I'd happily move to China for millions of dollars, but that almost certainly rules me out of the Spain squad for the 2018 World Cup. Playing for Atletico would keep me in contention, but that wouldn't be possible until January. So anyone fancy employing me for six months on a loan? Anybody? Please? One team that won't be in for Diego Costa is Liverpool, but I'm only guessing that because they don't make their interest in players particularly secret. As Daryl told you on Tuesday's episode of The Goalmouth, Southampton have reported Liverpool to the FA uh, due to some tapping up, alleged tapping up, of Virgil van Dijk. Now, Daryl seemed to think it was a foregone conclusion that van Dijk would then be moving to Liverpool. Now, that was probably the logical opinion to have on Tuesday, but on Wednesday, Liverpool issued an official non-apology apology. The statement reads, quote, Liverpool Football Club would like to put on record our regret over recent media speculation regarding Southampton Football Club and player transfers between the two clubs. We apologize to the owner, board of directors, and fans of Southampton for any misunderstanding regarding Virgil van Dijk. We respect Southampton's position and can confirm we have ended any interest in the player, end quote. Once again, to put that into normal people speak, that reads, We're sorry that our mutual friend told everyone that we were talking to your girlfriend, who we assumed would soon be your ex-girlfriend, without first talking to you. We know we've stolen several of your girlfriends recently, so we definitely won't talk to her anymore, but we probably will once you're less angry. For his part, Van Dyke has reportedly removed all references to Southampton from his social media pages, which, if we're keeping this analogy going, is the equivalent of removing photos from Facebook or changing the relationship status to It's Complicated. While we're on the subject of moves that seem like they aren't going to happen, here are a few more. Marca, the Spanish newspaper slash Real Madrid propaganda machine, is reporting that Real Madrid have ended any interest in Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gea. The club instead will stick with Keylor Navas next season after the Costa Rica International was backed by many of his current club teammates and manager Zinedine Zidane. The reaction to this news has pretty much been, that makes sense, immediately followed by, they're going to make a massive bid for AC Milan's teenage goalkeeper Gianluigi Donnarumma in the summer of 2018. Both of those reactions seem appropriate. Meanwhile, journalist Gerard Romero tweeted that Alexis Sanchez will be joining Manchester City this summer in a move that is already being identified by experts as not being a thing that is ever going to happen. World Cup qualifier news now. The USA will play host to Trinidad and Tobago in a World Cup qualifier later this evening, presuming, of course, you're listening to this on Thursday, June 7th. The match will be broadcast here in the U.S. on Fox Sports 1, with kickoff listed as 7 p.m., so that means the game is either starting just after 7 or, more likely, closer to 7.30. Either way, the U.S. will be hell-bent on getting three points, with Sunday's match at the Azteca in Mexico looming. Over at MLSsoccer.com, Matt Doyle predicts that Trinidad 1 will come out in a deep-lying 4-2-3-1 formation, 
Two, we'll seek to counterattack if and when the USA loses its concentration. And three, we'll be hoping the U.S. looks as disjointed as it did against Venezuela. One man who might not have a say in how things go is John Brooks, who could miss the Trinidad match with a bruised right quad. The Wolfsburg defender did take part in a full practice session earlier this week, so it seems like he might be good to go. Either way, the USA will need to do whatever it takes to get three points against the Soka Warriors because, well, that probably won't be happening against Mexico. Just one man's honest opinion. And while we're discussing international soccer, uh, it's worth noting, congratulations to England and Venezuela, both of whom advanced to the U-20 World Cup final. Venezuela did so by beating Uruguay on penalty kicks. England did so by beating Italy 3-1. So that means Venezuela, England in the U-20 World Cup final. I know Daryl Grove will be pleased, although he's already on vacation in Spain, so I don't know how much more pleased he could be. And with that, we've come to the end of yet another Goldmouth episode. You can explore all these stories in more depth by subscribing to our newsletter. The link is in the show notes. I've been Taylor Rockwell. Ryan Bailey will be with you tomorrow. Until then, here's your Goldmouth top tip. If you're an exciting club with attractive players, Liverpool have no respect for your Facebook relationship status. You've been warned.